don't stop. beauties and bows hey what's up y'all so welcome to vlogmas 24 Th throughout this whole thing that's all i've been doing <laughs> no this might be 23 today the 23rd so it's 23 i'm still behind so forgive me but it's time to This has to be the hardest part of the Christmas process, which is wrapping everything. Normally I'm a box person. Like I like to put things in the boxes and you know, make sure it looks all good and everything like that. Um, since it's just mainly AJ, I don't need to do that. So this is what we what we doing. This is a little pajamas, Batman. He sleep, so don't worry. So um, got him this as well, right? Cause he loves Spider Man. All right. So what I'm gonna do for his. And all his things came from uh, Walmart. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to But yeah, this has got to be the hardest part because this was supposed to be done over the weekend. So I could just sit back and do some more Vlogmas videos with y'all. And here we are. Uh, wrap. Right? I'm not gonna put his things in the bag because all he gonna do is just rip them, rip them apart anyway. So what's the point? So I got him some little uh, uh, joggers, you know, for the winter time because uh, he's grown a little bit since he's been here. Thank goodness. So this is what the shirt looks like. This is all the stuff that I, I purchased when I took y'all with me to Walmart, right? So how about... I'm thinking maybe just leave this on here. But I'm going to take it off. Okay. So that's... Intentions is to sit and watch some Christmas movies together um, on Christmas Eve, you know, just AJ and I. But normally, our traditions um, is pretty much we wrap gifts 
Christmas Eve, or actually, yeah, Christmas Eve, we wrap the gifts, um, drink some eggnog, and then watch Christmas movies. Because he made things work in a way that I didn't even know was possible. really good to us and we don't do what we supposed to do with him you know y'all know what I'm talking about we don't do right and this paper is a little bit thinner than that other one so this is what this one says invent the future them some powerful words right there, boy. Them some powerful words. But we got to sit up here and we got to mold our young people so that they can invent the future. Because the way it's going right now, baby, we ain't gonna have no future. So what else do we do for um, Christmas tra tradition? Um, of course, you know, we go to family's house and uh, have dinner and we cooked, uh, we cooked ham, macaroni and cheese, candy yams, greens. Uh, one time, uh, when my aunt, one of my aunts, uh, Younger. Rest in peace. I'm Dorothy. But she would make chitlins. <laughs> and we from Chatown. So uh, she from Chatown, we from Gary, we from everywhere. But originally, I'm from Gary, Indiana. My one fancy beauty. She know, she know 
what it is. So we would make some chitlins. What's up, girl? <laughs> so we would make some chitlins. We had some chitlins, ham, sweet potatoes. My mom would make um, pineapple upside down cake. Delicious. The potato salad. Of course, your your cranberry sauce. We would have that. Um, macaroni and cheese. What else would we have? The dinner rolls. Um, eggnog. We would do eggnog. Um, oh, what else? What else? Um, of course, you know we would have the gifts and things like that from the kids. From, from us because back then I was you know little you know, of course we carried those same traditions on to our family so pretty much I passed it on to my kids you know and things like that so yeah um, but I have to tell y'all my kids we had we had some rough Christmas we had some really rough Christmases. There was, you know, it was either due to financial uh, burdens or one time I took Christmas from my son because he was acting a nut. See, I don't, I don't play games, y'all. I don't play games. You're not going to get rewarded if you're acting a nut. Acting the nut, don't look for nothing. And I gave him chance after chance after chance, and he wouldn't straighten up. Child, Christmas time came, and he went to that Christmas tree. I can laugh now because it's been years and years ago. My baby is, uh, my son is 33. No, yeah, 33. I know it's bad. I don't know how old my children is, but anyway. I know the baby girl is 25. My oldest girl is 36. They three, three and a half years apart. So, wait a minute, is she 35? Is she 35 or 36, child? Uh-uh. I don't remember. Look, it's real bad because I had to sit and think. When my birthday coming up, am I going to be 51 or 52? I had to literally sit here and remember. That's how fast life has been going for me. I ain't playing with y'all. It's been going super fast. So it ain't that none of that other kind of craziness, you know, somebody might think. But, oh my gosh, how old is Mia? I want to say 36, y'all. She was born in 82. I had her when I was 15. This is 18. 2018, she was born in 82. So she's 36. She's 36. Baby been through a lot, you know, and I, some stuff probably I don't even know, you know. I talked to him about that <sighs> one day. Timing ain't right. Timing ain't right, y'all. This one just says dad's all star. But we would do that. We would play cards after we ate dinner. Um, 
because we did Christmas Eve stuff, right? I went down that lane, right? So, you know, with the hands of the toys and things like that. Go to take the kids, go take pictures with Santa Claus, uh, things like that. It just says awesome, because he is. He's an awesome kid. I love my baby. I really do. When he was born, when he was first born, I looked at him. You know how you look at the baby when they present him to you. And I looked at that baby and I said, it's something special about this boy. It's something special about this boy. And it is. He is such a loving, a loving child. Like he would just come up to you for, for no reason and hug you and kiss you. I'm trying to not talk. Oh. So I don't wake him up because he got him.
most most Christmases I have to go to work because I you know I've been doing the casino business for about 20 years. Uh, it's actually coming up on 21 years on my birthday. But yeah, I've been doing this for a long time, and I'll tell you what, this business ain't. It ain't made up for uh, uh, families. Because you going to work the holidays. Don't think you're going to have those off. Because you're not. Um, but we're getting, we're getting better. I, I do have to say that. We are getting better. Because. Uh, you know, put all But yeah, we are getting better at our casino because normally we would have to work six days. So some of our dealers are actually able to be off if their original off days were Mon uh, what is it? Monday, Tuesday, or Tuesday, Wednesday. They're going to be able to be off. On their on their normal off days, it, it, these feel so good, guys. This is a nice quality of uh, material. Give me space, is what it says. <sighs> Child, you need that. But yeah, um, so they get their days off. I gotta work six days. I'm cool with that because that's my money. My money, my money. I need more money. I have to keep on top of things. Having him. I have to have as much money as I can get my hands on. Because I ain't got time to play. That's just a plain one, y'all. But yeah, I ain't got time to play, y'all. I need my coins. Because I remember times when I had to tell my kids, no, you can't have it. And I can't stand saying no. I cannot stand saying no to my kids. And I tell you, it's reason reason for it is because, you know, my mom, she had limited income. And she worked her tail off. So, I vowed when I had my kids that I would not tell them no, if at all possible. If at all possible, I'm not sure if I will. I probably won't even matter because I probably said he got shirts in there already. that your family does for a Christmas celebration for Christ. Oh, and we did go to church too. That was a month. We went to church and gave honor to God. So Mama made sure we went to church. For sure. Um, we bore our, uh, we would pick out an outfit because, you know, in your Christmas, your Christmas presents always had new clothes in them. You always had to have some new clothes. So you would pick out, you know, one of your new outfits to wear. We would. We would pick out what we gonna wear. And we did that for Thanksgiving too, child. We had to sport a new outfit for Thanksgiving and we would be dressed to key, okay? We ain't play around. We was, our family, we were fashionistas. <laughs> Even the guys, they uh, they look dapper and, and clean too, child. Okay, do play. So, but yeah, I love Christmas. Um, and I think the reason I'm like, like just really over it this year because 
I'm not where I want to be. I'm not living where I want to be. So that's one of the reasons why I just, I'm ready to just get the day over with. Take the um, tree down, take the lights down, because I got to take two trees down. This is my first time ever having two trees, but I, um, I want to make it good for him. I want to do things better with him than I did with my kids. So, yeah. So I just want to go all out. If I can. Without going crazy. You know? Because then, you know, you don't have to do all that. I'm trying to see if I can add up what I spent. everything with him you know the my co-workers and all right we got his teacher coming so so yeah so I think that's what I spent y'all do a budget I do a budget I do a budget because I'm not going to be out here like that for no one day. I ain't doing that. I told y'all that before. I ain't trying to. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. You got to live after, after Christmas is over with. And I'm not going in the new year with empty pockets. Sit up here. Wrap the rest of this and put y'all on speed dial. <laughs> uh, while I do it, and then I show you. Oh, that's what I meant to tell y'all. But I want to do since I have two trees is I want to put. Um, make it like a scavenger hunt for him. Kind of sort of just, you know, have the, uh, if he likes these things, you know, do this for him. I got eight grandkids. Two of them are by marriage, but I don't, I don't do no separation stuff like that. So I sent them money too. I sent my other, most of my grandkids are boys. I only got one biological granddaughter, and my other granddaughter is by marriage, through marriage. 
all the rest of them not head hard head boys. I don't like leaving no price tags on nothing. Because you know some people be tripping. That's all you spend on me? All right, guys, so I'm finished, and I look back at that footage, um, and it's, oh, it's dark, so hopefully y'all still watch it, but if you don't, I understand why, but I'm done wrapping. I got my co-worker's gifts all done, and, um, this paper and I did this paper and this paper I don't want to take this one out because it's kind of too big to go back in and out of the box and in and out of the bag like that so that's three of them and then I got these two right here and it's um, something that needs to be in the bag like a, um, a gift bag so I'm gonna pick up so I'm gonna pick that up in the morning before I go to work because I want them to have that I think this is something for me that the baby did. 
so I didn't even look at it. Keep that head. Because he will, um, he'll try to get in it and see what it is. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm done. And it is 12.40 in the morning. So, your girl about to call it a night. I'm tired and I gotta work tomorrow. I still gotta take my shower, so I'm gonna wrap this thing on up. I gotta clean up that mess. So, yeah. Let me go ahead and turn in. And I'll see y'all on another video. So, you already know the drill. Stay fancy, stay focused. Stay focused on God. It's the most important thing when I talk about staying focused. Stay focused on God. And don't lose sight of Him. Because there's some things that's going to come up in our lives. And you're going to have to be ready. And you're going to have to have all faith and strength in God. And you're going to have to have the courage to choose Him over the wool. The sheep's wool. you got to be strong enough to say, no, I choose God. And uh, that's a daily practice for me because when that come knocking on my door or knocking on my life, I'm going to be able to say, I choose God. Even if it's my life, I choose God. That's strong, right? Yeah, it's that deep. So, stay focused on God. Stay positive, stay prayerful, and I will see you all Christmas morning, yeah. Christmas morning, but y'all know the video ain't gonna go up until that night, or probably that morning, the next morning, okay, so until then, I love you so much. <laughs>